Hey guys, welcome to Born to Win. I'm glad that you guys are back for another video. Today's video is going to be self-explanatory. I'm going to be, uh, obviously you guys are clicking onto this title of this video because you guys want to figure out how to make decisions in your guys' business and how to actually get better and have a proven system that will actually help you guys make the, uh, uh, the, the right decision more than half of the time, okay? Because in reality, let's be honest, when you're an entrepreneur and you're leading your business and you have people working under you, you're you're kind of scared sometimes to make a decision because you want to make the decision that benefits everyone in the company and benefits your guys's team priority okay that whether you're in a sales uh, in sales and you're just running your own team whether you're running your own company whether you're not running your own company at all or you're just making a big leap of faith like leaving your mom's house going to somewhere else going to a new city this will help you make fast quick decisions and make and, and, and teach you ultimately how to pivot if you make a bad decision because ultimately I'm not gonna lie to you um, there is no perfect decision guys so one thing that you guys have to accept is that no one's perfect everyone's gonna make a bad decision it's just a matter of not whether you make a bad decision or not it's just about pivoting and figuring out that hey I made the wrong decision and let's make the other one and let's fix it okay so it, that's a matter of actually using your guys's brain and figuring out hey, instead of just not making a decision at all, is making the decision as well, okay guys? So if you guys are putting off that decision because you guys don't wanna take on that responsibility or uh, be accountable, then you guys are ultimately cheating your guys itself, okay? So you guys have to understand that we have to make those hard decisions. You are, you're on the Born to Win channel, you're a born winner, you're a leader, you're, you're a reason, you probably have a lot of people that look up to you because of your work ethic, the way that you work, the way that you grind, the way that you put push okay guys so you have to understand that you have to lead people in the right uh, right route and right direction okay and and uh, one of the biggest things and one of the biggest attractive uh, qualities that a leader could possess is decisiveness making a decision it's not always going to be the right decision understand that okay it's not always going to be the perfect decision it's just a matter that you're making the decision and then if you you fucked up and it was the wrong decision then you could pivot out quicker and you could go the other route and be able to figure out what's working okay so these uh, these tips that I'm going to be giving you is going to be what I actually Actually use in my business to actually pivot when I make a mistake and what I've learned throughout my mentors uh, that have taught me to make decisions um, on the fly and to be able to adapt to my environment okay so first thing that I want to share with you guys is going to be do a pro and con analysis so that's pretty self-explanatory it's not really hard okay so what I want you guys to be doing is a pro and con analysis get a piece of pen get a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil whatever you guys prefer and uh, draw a line through the middle of it and I want you guys to draw out the pros and cons of making your decision okay if you have to make a split second decision just do it right then and there just pull out a pen or a piece of paper if you don't have a pen or a piece of paper then obviously pull out your phone you always have your phone on you right so pull out your notes write down one column for uh, uh, for pros and write down all pros 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 and then write down cons of you making the decision cons 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 if the pros outweigh the cons do the make the decision if the cons weigh out the pros well then obviously it's gonna be a risky decision and it's ultimately up to you if you feel it in your gut then do it but if you don't obviously don't do it because the pros and cons analysis that is what it's used for okay guys it's supposed to tell you what it's going to benefit you if the upside is a little bit bigger i always go with that decision not all of the time um sometimes i'll use my gut and intuition and it, and it has worked out that maybe sometimes like i take a little bit more of a chance and a gamble but it all depends ultimately because at the end of the day, even if I know if I make the wrong decision, I'm not scared to make the decision. And that's going to be one tip that I want to add on to you guys. Don't be scared to make the decision. Okay. Don't be afraid of anything. Nothing good ever comes out of you being afraid. Okay. So understand that it's something new it's something that you're going to venture off into you guys don't know it's the unknown you guys don't know about a decision until you guys make it 
it, whether if it was a good one or bad one and we all made bad decisions so you're not on you're not alone on that boat okay but don't be afraid to make the decision okay you have to be decisive especially when you're a leader in your industry you're watching this because you're part of the born to win community you're part of the born to win gang all right man you guys are meant to be great people you guys are really really smart people that are grinding continuously every single day and you guys want to improve that's why you guys are watching these videos and that's why i'm sharing these experiences for you guys could just gain knowledge through my experiences and my business for ultimately it could help you guys out and maybe serve you guys in your guys's decision making process when it comes down to business okay and the second thing that i want to share with you guys if this decision has to be done in within like minutes or hours then go with your gut i actually got this through one of my mentors which is ty lopez okay so he said if the decision has to be done in minutes or hours go with your gut in the in if if, if the decision has to be done in a couple days within uh, a couple days or a day um, go with the facts and data okay so what I mean by that oh I'm messing you guys up all right let me fix that up for you guys so that's the second one okay so you guys could quickly pause that read over that but essentially what I'm letting you guys know is that if you guys have a day or two go with the facts and data go with the numbers okay so go with what you guys think is going to be the most be beneficial based off of data and anal analysis. If it's something that has to be done within seconds, uh, within hours, within minutes, whatever the case may be, then go with your gut. Your gut is there for a reason. It's an animal instinct, guys. You have to understand that back then, people thought their gut was God. You know, like the, ultimately everyone would make a decision based on how they felt their gut instinct. OK, because if they didn't make that decision, they would die. They would get eaten by a lion. If they even suspected there was a lion there, they were already running. OK, and that, those are the split second decisions that our brain are meant is meant to do. OK, so if it's a split second decision that has to be done in minutes or in hours, well, then just make the decision and go with your gut. But if it's something that you have time to sleep on you have days you have weeks months whatever the case may be go based off of facts and knowledge that you guys facts and data that you guys gather on through your guys's day of doing research or whatever the case may be but if you guys don't have time to research then you guys are going to have to make it off the fly you guys are going to have to make a decision that's going to be most beneficial for your company based off of your gut what is your gut instinct telling you and go based off of that okay so last last and third thing, well, fourth thing that I want to give you guys is going to be make the decision. Stop waiting. OK, guys. So that's going to be the last one that I want to go over with you. So make the decision and stop waiting. OK, don't be afraid to fail. If you fail, you fail, man. Like it, it's completely fine. But make not making a decision is making a decision guys you have to understand that you're not going to be a great leader if you're not decisive if you're not the one that's calling the shots whether people just want to be leaded okay if it doesn't matter if you make bad decisions it because if you make a bad decision you could always pivot like i said but not making the decision makes you look weak especially if you're running a company because they're like damn dude this guy can't even make up his mind how is he supposed to make me money how is he supposed to lead me to being a great closer a great salesman in my case right or how is this person going to be able to be the one that's going to be able to take me to the promised land which is making me rich whatever the case may be but people like confidence guys so make that decision whether it's the good or right one what's the worst thing that could happen you're not going to die from it okay unless you really physically are going to die from it then don't do it obviously Obviously, uh, pros and cons analysis that 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 one's going to weigh up really high when it comes down to your cons. But my point is proven, guys. Um, I, I hope we're not making any decisions like that, especially when it comes down to your business. But um, just don't be afraid to make the decision, guys, and understand that you guys could always pivot if you guys make the wrong mistake. So it's not it's not anything that you should be scared of. If anything, you should be excited to even figure out if it's going to work or not. If it doesn't work, well, then stop doing it. Just pivot to the right direction. OK, 
So I hope you guys found this video very helpful. You guys did hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, hit that comment button, drop down a comment, uh, give me a little bit of feedback on what you guys thought about the video. Share it with a friend or family member, share it with anyone that's into business. Um, hopefully my message got through to you guys and it helps you guys out throughout your guys' business. This is just a little bit of a strategy that I use when uh, actually making very, very important decisions in my business. I hope it finds you well. If you guys did enjoy it, like I said, hit that thumbs up button, do all that good stuff. It really does help the channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? And just remember one thing, guys. You guys were born to win. You guys make the extraordinary look ordinary. Until next time, guys. I love you guys. Peace.